have an additional demo for builds and round something which we talked about a few times in this course as well. So we're looking into extending SharePoint framework to be used as a as a the development platform and and development uh, framework for more than just SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. So now we're looking into extending this to Office add-ins, and this is a relatively early rough demo. Uh, but it gives you the idea of where we are with this one. Uh, we are actually already at the moment of, of these things barely working, also already in desktop clients, but we're adding additional capabilities like Outlook, adding build using SPFX before we can release this one for you. Um, but relatively simple demo. Uh, I can see that people can actually see uh, on the conversation that you can actually see my screen. Patrick, just out of curiosity, can you, did you get it as well? Yep, I got it. Awesome. So get it recorded. Now, um, so like I said, relatively rough demo. It's not super polished, uh, but here I'm opening up my task pane, and this is actually a SharePoint framework sample task pane. Uh, relatively simple demo, like mentioned. So I can do something like uh, I can earth, uh, do a search on the document uh, and do a search, and it will actually highlight and then the text in the document. So we're using Office JS inside of the uh, inside of the of the SharePoint framework solution to talk directly to the document. Uh, and then uh, also I can go to the replace view. So this is again SharePoint framework uh, web part technically uh, right now, but it's going to be called something else whenever we get to that moment. Uh, uh, and I can do something like let's flip Earth to Mars, uh, which hopefully doesn't happen. And I can actually do those replacements. Uh, well, that didn't work out that well, but let me actually show the other one. Or I can actually communicate to SharePoint Online by clicking the Get Code Words. So all of the connectivity between your tenant is available. All of the craft API access, all of the management, all of the simple deployment, um, all of the, the Azure AD securely callable APIs, all of that is available uh, in these panels as well. As long as you're authenticated against your tenant, uh, you're able to authenticate and operate this stuff. And in this case, let's do something simple. You can see here somebody's using most 2007 words or MS Exchange, and those are not official words. So I can absolutely do a replacement, and that will then change uh, these uh, code words based on that mapping. So the most has been changed with Office, uh, Office SharePoint Server. Here we go, uh, 2007, and then there was much such uh, MS Exchange has been changed to Microsoft Exchange. Simple demos, um, a relatively rough demo, like mentioned, but this basically shows that we're using the Office JS inside of the SharePoint framework solution, and then we are able to communicate between the, the Office documents and also uh, whenever we get this live, also together with uh, you can use SharePoint framework to build Office. Sorry, Outlook add-ins as well. So you can then easily build this Office add-ins without worrying deployment, without worrying hosting, without worrying the typical challenges what people are having. Uh, which is, which is by the way, exactly the same reasons why we introduced the, the Microsoft Teams with SharePoint Framework. So you don't have to worry about the deployment, hosting, management, governance, and all of that because everything is taken care of by the SharePoint Framework capabilities. Now, um, potentially, I can't promise this for sure. Uh, we're looking into getting this one. Uh, we're planning into getting this one as a release as part to preview as part of the 1.9 release. And then your feedback is super important. Uh, so we need to understand: is it an interesting scenario? Um, is it something what you would be would make you feel more interested on building Office add-ins uh, if you can actually use the same code base and same uh, technologies uh, for those as well. And obviously, they, this one uh, is a contextual uh, implementation, so in the same way as with Microsoft uh, Teams tabs, uh, you can get access on the document. You can, you know always that am I hosted as a web part in a SharePoint page as a Microsoft Teams tab, or am I actually hosted as a task pane uh, in this case. And also the context, context uh, contextual, what are the content uh, add-ins are uh, going to be supported as well. So you're able to have add-ins inside of the of the documents. So that's really pretty cool as well. But whenever we get to the preview, like mentioned, I'm going to stop recording. Uh, sorry, sharing. Whenever we get to the re preview, hopefully in 1.9 version. Uh, Please do give us feedback uh, using the feedback channels, which will be available at that point, so we can we can show the interest of the community towards this kind of a functionalities as well. But pretty cool uh, and pretty, uh, it's in a good status already. Uh, it's great to see actually the interest also in the IM chat window uh, around this one.